Hi everyone, my name is April from Grateful April and today I'm doing a 20 minute Pilates workout with a toilet roll because I know that every single person out there will have at least one of these. So, let's get to it. Grab your toilet rolls, grab your mat, put a smile on your face and let's go. Okay, we're going to start off sitting up nice and tall and just hunching the shoulders right into the ears and then dropping back down. So breathing in, lifting up, breathing out, dropping down. Fingertips onto the shoulders. Imagine you're drawing big circles with the elbows. Spine is still nice and tall. Keep the neck relaxed. And now we'll go to the other direction. So really lift up and round. You're stretching all of your arms, your triceps, opening up the chest. And now hands out to the side, nice and long, and just pulse with the hands. Going up and down. You're definitely going to start to feel a little burn soon. Making sure we're getting all warmed up. Now palms flat, we're going to circle round. The circles don't have to be that big. Just small circles will do. And now hands coming in and out. Bending out the elbows and extending back. Try and keep the wrist in line with the shoulders. Just keep it going nice and strong, nearly there. Good and relax, well done. Now take your toilet roll, extend the arms out, and now squeezing into the middle, allow the toilet roll to switch hands. So when you do this, and you can do it nice and slow, keep up with me. Imagine you're pushing water with the hands. So you're really working into your chest muscles. Nearly there. Make sure your spine stays nice and tall. And relax, well done. Now pop your hand on the toilet roll over to your right side, lift the left arm up and slide the toilet roll away, keeping the left knee and left hip down. Turn, slightly look up towards the ceiling if you want to. We're going to repeat that a few more times. Breathe now, extending over and coming back up and enjoying the stretch really squeeze to come up so you're working into the sides of the body breathing out sliding away good coming back up switching sides so toilet roll over to the left hand, lifting the right arm up and extending out and coming back in, breathing out and in, keeping the right knee, right hip glued down, allowing your hands to follow your breath. there last one come back up and lower down you can give a little shake out to your shoulders if you need to clasp the hands together nod forward stretch and round through the back allowing your body to stretch after sitting up so tall for the past few minutes And now hands come together around the back of the body. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Push your fingertips into the lower part of your back and imagine you're trying to squeeze your elbows together. And again, breathing in and breathe out, push back. Look up towards the ceiling if you need to. And relax and again, breathing out. Dropping the shoulders down. And relaxing. Keep pushing away and then relax. 
put the toilet roll in front of you, hands on the toilet roll, nod the chin, stretch forward and reach as far as you can go, stretching out from the middle of your back, the lower back and the upper back and arms. And come back in, breathing in and breathing out, extend away. And back up, breathe in and breathe out. Sometimes when you have an object, you can go a little bit further than you would if you were just using your hands. So this is a good one to practice to help with back pain and gaining flexibility in your body. Good, coming back up. We're now going to have feet hip width apart. Going to nod down, roll down, and rock from side to side, massaging that lower spine. Okay, from here we're going to make sure the pelvis is neutral. Heads nicely relaxed, feet place onto the floor. We're going to tuck the pelvis and squeeze and lift all the way up. Just holding it here, warming up the lower part of the body. And then gently rolling all the way back down. And again, tucking that pelvis, lifting all the way up. And lowering back down. Lifting up and squeezing, really pushing your heels into the mat, keeping the neck nice and relaxed, and come down. Now we're going to take our toilet roll. It's optional here, if you want to keep your hands onto the floor, feel free. But extend, lift the arms up over the head, and keep pushing them backwards and forwards, maintaining the height of your bridge. Keep pushing into the heels, relax all the way back down. And now this time, arms are going to start out, roll up, and we're going to switch the toilet roll with our hands. Really squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings, keeping the core nice and tight. And now bring the hands back down and relax. Okay, version number three with our toilet rolls. Peel and lift up. We're going to pass the toilet roll underneath the glute. So what this does is allows us to lift up a little bit higher and have a more strength in the lower part of our body. Keep squeezing, keep breathing and lower. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Well done, rock from side to side. Come to gently roll all the way up. Feet are hip width apart. Just got to have a quick faff and do my hair. Feet are hip width apart. There, it looks good. There we go. So hands up in front. We're going to, going to nod that chin and roll all the way down. Holding it here and then roll all the way back up. Now this is quite advanced, so if you're struggling, don't worry. You can pop your hands behind your thighs just to work your way up to this. It can take a little while. If you are at that intermediate level, feel free when you come down to allow the hands to float away from the body with the toilet roll in the hands and squeezing out. Coming in and out to the other side. And then rolling all the way back up, nod the chin, roll down, coming out and in, breathing out and in. So you should feel this in the sides of your body. We've only got a couple more to do now. If you feel any back pain, you need to roll and tuck your pelvis a little bit more. Here we go, last one. 
and come to fold all the way back up. Well done. Have a little shake out. Have a quick breather. Gently roll all the way down and pop the toilet roll in between the knees. And have a quick fluff with the hair once again. Hands onto the floor, pelvis in neutral. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. Tap the feet down and squeeze back up. If you feel lower back pain here, you can pop your hands underneath your back or you can take the toilet roll away and then just pop one knee down at a time. Listen to your body. Keep breathing. Make this a little bit harder. Lift the hands up in towards the air. Keeping that pelvis nice and still. Doing really well, keep going. Breathing out, tapping down. We've got four, and lift. Three, and lift. Two, and lift. And your last one, and lift. Well done, hug the knees in, rock from side to side. and come to roll all the way back up okay from here we're going to be sitting on our sitting bones feet hip width apart the toilet roll in between the middle of the foot, put your hands onto the floor, go to breathe in and breathe out, extend the legs out. So extend out and come back in. Make it a little bit harder, you can have your hands off the floor. Please only do this if your back allows it. You don't want to feel any pain in the lower part of your back. Good, we've got three more. And two. And your last one, you can do it. And come in and relax. Good work, everyone. Well done, it was quite intense. Let's stretch out our legs, nod the chin, hands come down, wherever they reach. They might reach to the feet or the knees, as long as you're stretching out your back and your legs. And relax, come all the way back up. From here we're going to pop the toilet roll in between the feet and then the hands can stabilise you behind your body. So maintain a nice long spine before you start. Breathing in and breathing out we're going to tap the feet over to the right and the left. And the right if you want to take your hands off feel free. This is quite tricky, and if you have lower back pain, this might not be the one for you. But just try and see how you get on. We've got four, three, two, and your last one. And relax. That was very intense, you did very well, well done. Bring the feet together, knees out, stretching out the hips. Sometimes when we do a lot of ab work, we can feel it in our legs. Pop the toilet roll in the middle of the mat, and now we're going to make it a little bit easier, popping the hands onto the floor, or hands down by your sides, and the feet are just going to go over the toilet roll. Keep breathing out as your feet move. Four, four, three, two, one, and relax. Come to lay all the way down, give yourself a well-deserved break, stretch out from the toes all the way to the fingertips. Popping the feet in between the toilet roll, hands underneath the glutes. And then we're going to do a like a reverse crunch. So you're going to push up and over into the air and then slowly allow the back to come all the way back down, tapping the feet down if you want to. If it's too much for you, just keep with the feet in towards the air and don't tap the foot down. Lifting up and over and tap. Up and over and tap. So nice and strong. 
The slower you allow the glutes in the back back down to the mat, the harder it becomes. Breathing out and out. Good, lifting up and breathing out. Keep squeezing, you're nearly there. And relax the feet. Hug the knees in, rock from side to side. And come to sit all the way up. We're now going to do some back work. So lay onto your front. Extending the arms out nice and long. And again, got to do my hair once again. I really need to just have one hairstyle for when I teach these videos, I think. So pop in the toilet roll underneath the left hand and bring in the hands right into the shoulders and the elbows back, breathing out, squeeze and lift in and allow the toilet roll to float away in front of you. So lifting up and coming back in, extending out and back in. Breathing out, lifting up. So keep the feet firmly onto the floor. Keep the neck nice and long. Coming back down. And lifting out. And coming in. Good, breathing out, lifting up. Keep the right hand flattened down. And now we're going to change sides. So the left hand flattens down. Elbows start by squeezing into the body, breathing out, extending that right arm. Breathing in and breathing out. And extending out. And coming back down. And lifting. Keep the feet nice and relaxed. The neck is relaxed. You don't want to feel like your shoulders are pinching into your ears. Nice and strong in the back. And last one. And relax, push up. Come into extended child's pose. Stretching out the back. Now we're going to come into an all fours position and just pop your hands in the middle of the toilet roll, making sure the knees in line with the hips, wrists in line with the shoulders, and breathing out, extending the arm out to the side. So you're feeling this in the left shoulder and coming in, breathing in, squeezing out and coming in. Good. Keeping the neck nice and relaxed, no tension. Well done. Now let's switch sides. So keep that left hand nice and secure down. Try not to tip your hips or your shoulders. Just squeezing out. Breathing out. Feel all the strength in the upper body. And your last one. And relax back down once again. You can lift the fingertips up to stretch out the forearms if you need to. Excuse me while I have a quick itch. Pop the hands onto the floor, curl the toes under, breathing in and breathing out. Lift up, push the heels into the mat for a good stretch from top to toe here. You can rock up onto the toes if you want, onto the balls of your feet to get an extra deep stretch in the hamstrings. It's just a nice release if you've got any tension in the back of your body. And then uncurl, stretch forwards.
Okay, from here we're going to come up onto our knees, pelvis in neutral, back of the hands to touch round two, pop the hands onto the lower back and look up towards the ceiling. And relax, come back forwards. And again, reach round, stretch all the upper body work we've done. We just need to stretch everything out now. Come to sit onto your heels, nod your chin towards your chest and push your hands forward, rounding through that spine. Imagine you're trying to get a nice C curve in your back. And coming up and breathing out, push. Now just come round to sit onto your sitting bones, lifting the arms up in the air, toilet roll in between the hands and leaning over to the right, into the middle and then over to the left. And the middle, one more time over to the right, middle and the left. Pop the hands back down with the toilet roll, go over to your left knee and stretch out with your right knee and hip grounding down. This should feel a really good stretch right down the right side of your body. Coming back up over to the right, breathing in and breathing out and hold down, stretch forwards. Hands out to the side, breathing in, arms up nice and tall and breathing out. And again, lifting up and coming down and in and down. Last time, big breath in and float those hands all the way down. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. Please, of course, take the first layer of the toilet roll off before you use it and make sure you always wash your hands. Thank you for joining me here today on my mat. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon for more videos. Have a wonderful day. Bye.